next job is to put up a polytunnel. Now we've got the greenhouse on the allotment already and we've had that now for three summers and it's man we've managed to fill it to overflowing in each summer and we think that a polytunnel will actually help us with some of the overflow from the uh, from the greenhouse but what the polytunnel will also give us is the opportunity to grow some vegetable crops during the winter which would otherwise be quite difficult to grow outdoors so these are the instructions these are some of the bits that we've got to put together so um, here goes As you can see, the polytunnel is built on a raised bed. We've had the bed in for about a year now, uh, but it's designed to take a polytunnel on top of it. Now, David, who normally does the filming, is the one who's actually building it today. Well here we have the finished product, it's now been up and in use for about two months. I'll just give you a quick glimpse inside. Well here we are inside the polytunnel and as you can see we've got it full of tomatoes and I discovered a moment ago as I opened it up that there were lots of tiny little frogs jumping around on the ground here so they obviously like it in here as well and we're really happy to have the frogs in here because they eat the bugs <laughs> 